Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yolanda TV. I hope you well from whatever you watch in this channel. You will be surprised that so far it's alleged that Rigadi Gachago has filed more than 23 petitions. All these seeking to stop this impeachment. Now, we're not going to talk about all those impeachment uh, petitions that are like we've talked about them in this analysis, but there is one particular petition here that Kachago filed, and this is a bit strange because the petition is saying, and now you'll be so amused, that when the people were taken through public participation, they gave the government two options, either to ignore the petition or should they think that the best solution for Kenya is to have Rigadi Gachago kicked out, then Rigadi should go with William Samuel Ruto? Said the president and his deputy should be impeached together. So I mean, that was a very tricky scenario that was given to the government. So the lawyers representing Rigadi Gachago have surfaced with a very strange petition. And this time around, they are saying that it is okay public participation could have taken place. However, there is still another petition that is saying that the public participation was not done in accordance with the law and in, in accordance with the directives of the court. So as a result, the other petition, I'm talking about the other one, was seeking to annul that public participation session. Now, onto this new petition, ladies and gentlemen, it is very simple. Regarding if he is to go, then he should go with William Samuel Ruto. And, and by the way, that is what was being said in almost all the forums that we saw, you know, being uh, a showcased. Now, I call this a very strange petition because it is not saying that Rigade should not go. It is saying that the petition is saying that Rigade should go with William Ruto. <laughs> Now, I want us to explore this statement. There's a video I'll share, ladies and gentlemen, regarding that statement from the lawyer who was making his submission in the courts. But before you do that, please like this video. It's so important if you like this video. That is the only way YouTube shares our content and that is the only way our channel grows. So subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed before and to existing subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Now, I want us to extend this analysis just like I promised, but I think the best thing is to go through this video of a submission regarding that petition. So maybe just take your time and watch this video. They conduct online opinion polls. And when the figures in parliament are saying the opposite, this independent poll star shows only 7% was supporting the impeachment of the deputy president. Double that number, 14%, 4,433 supported the impeachment of the president, although it wasn't part of the questionnaire. And 75% of the Kenyan people, 24,122, said the president and his deputy should be impeached together. So the overwhelming majority in this limited public participation voted in favor of both being impeached, but 93% we are against the impeachment of the deputy president. Now, very well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the submission I was telling you about. Now, I believe some of you must have seen uh, articles, you know, being thrown around about some members of parliament in Mount Kenya claiming that they were hoodwinked, that... They were told that if they voted to impeach Rigadi, then uh, the replacement would be maybe someone within Mount Kenya. Some of them are beginning to feel that they were shortchanged. That is something that has been uh, 
you know, taking the media by storm, especially over the weekend. So for those of you who managed to go through that article, you will agree with me that there are some Mount Kenya members of parliament who are seeing dust in, you know, you know, traversing the, the areas in, in, in Mount Kenya. So you've seen these videos, ladies and gentlemen. They are pointing to one thing, a, re a rebellion, a revolt in Mount Kenya. So this could have been the reason why some members of parliament are now looking at this scenario and saying that the only way out for them is to uh, to apologize to the Mount Kenya people. But this is a case of too little, too late. If they had voted to support the motion, they went ahead to vote to support the impeachment of Rigadi Gachagua. That means they betrayed Rigadi Gachagua. So they can't come now at a very later stage and say that they want to apologize. You know, them seeking apology at this particular moment is not going to help. It's not going to change the votes. And in fact, this is some kind of mind game they are introducing. Personally, I think this is a mind game because they can't purport to be feeling guilty after making their own, after, after voting. Because right now, uh, the reality that is, you know, these people are going through now is that they are going to be kicked out by the locals. They have seen this. You know, it's been taking... Uh, Mount Kenya leaders are already in hot soup right now. Those who voted for you to have Rigadi Gachagua impeached, they are in hot soup. So that explains why Rigadi has surfaced with another petition. And this petition, just like I said, it's a strange one because it's saying that Rigadi, if Rigadi is to be impeached based on uh, the pub public participation, then the people say that if he's to be, to be impeached because, honestly speaking, Serikali Kshasa Memesema, so if he is to be impeached, then also Ruto should uh, pack his belongings and go. Said the president and his deputy should be impeached together. So that was what was said, ladies and gentlemen, during that impeachment uh, public participation. Now, I don't know about you, but I wanted to go beyond the comment section and uh, offer a reaction on this statement coming from uh, regarding the Chagua's uh, advocate. There's a very strong statement there, and this uh, strong statement, I think, is giving the courts a uh, reason to think twice. You know, this petition is not talking about uh, the public participation uh, not meeting the requirements as stipulated by the law. It is only saying that the public participation, the deliberations in those forums, so that Ruto should go with the Rigadi Gachago. So, if at all they are supposed to obey those public 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 participation forums, then I think even Ruto should be going. You know, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So perhaps if you're watching this video and you've not subscribed, take one second and subscribe, like this video, till you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.